Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Jailbreak with another edition of iOS Inside Track. And today I wanted to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 using Red Snow. Now, this is a tethered jailbreak for the A4 devices and the iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch 3rd Gen. So those devices that are A4 are the iPhone 4, GSM, and CDMA, the iPad, and the iPod Touch 4th Gen. Now this does not work on the iPhone 4S, the iPad 2, or the new iPad. It's also, when I said tethered, what that means is you're going to have to boot your device into tethered boot mode on every restart. So every time you have to reboot or power back on, you're going to have to plug it into the computer open up Red Snow and boot tethered. I'll show you guys how to do that later on in this video. So you're going to need to be already on 5.1.1 and you're also going to need to download Red Snow for whichever operating system you're running on your computer. I have links for both Windows and Mac in the video description and you're also going to need to download the iOS 5.1 file that corresponds to your device which I also have links for in the video description. So once you have everything you need, you're going to want to open up Red Snow and you're going to want to click on Extras, select IPSW, and locate the iOS 5.1 file that you downloaded. And it will tell you that it will be used for the rest of this Red Snow session. Click OK. Then you're going to want to click Back and then click on Jailbreak. So while this is occurring, what you're going to want to do is plug in your device and then power it down. Make sure it's completely off while it's plugged in. Because if you power it off first, then plug it in, it's just going to turn your device back on. So once your device has completely shut down, make sure Install Cydia is selected. Click Next. And then here it tells you again, make sure that your device is both off and plugged in. And if it's not off, plug the device into the computer first before turning it off. So simply click Next, and you're just going to want to follow the on-screen directions to put the device into DFU mode. So once it detects that it's in DFU mode, it's going to first do everything on the computer that it needs to, and then it's going to do the rest on the device. Now you will see um, scrolling text on the device, which is completely normal, so don't panic. So first you should see a hard disk with a green arrow saying downloading jailbreak data, and then it should reboot and you should see all of the scrolling text like I said. So if you see everything that I've just described, you are on track. And after the text is done scrolling, you should see the running pineapple logo, and it should be completing the rest of it on the device. And what you can actually do is go ahead and click back right now and stay on this screen right here. And once your device turns back on, unlock it, and you should see a white icon that says Cydia. And for me, it doesn't open. It'll just close out. So what you have to do, power down again. And once it has been turned off, click on Just Boot. And you're going to go through the DFU mode process one more time. Now, if Cydia is there with the regular Cydia icon and you can open it, you don't need to do this. But for me, I had to in order for Cydia to work. And then it should just boot up, and you should be able to use your jailbreak apps again, your tweaks and whatnot. And Cydia should be the actual Cydia icon. And like I said, you're going to need to do this every time. That's kind of you know the one thing that is unfortunate about the tethered jailbreak, but you can still use your you know whatever device you have. Regularly, you just won't have access to Cydia or any of the tweaks and jailbroken apps that you have installed. And now that it's all jailbroken, I will show you guys that I'm currently on one point or 5.1.1.
And there you guys go. And just to show you, I do have Cydia. That's it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Check out my links for Swagbucks and Dropbox. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything at all, feel free to ask. I'm always here.